to end this block in which we are talking about inclusion, we have with us Juan Luis Nazabal, Professor of Mechanics and International Project Coordinator. Uh, you are coming from Tolos Aldea Vocational School, and the project is called In Partnership for Promoting Successful Inclusion in a European Perspective, in us in inclusion. Uh, what kind of project is this, and where are the partners from? Okay, good morning. This project uh, called, as you have said, uh, in, inclusion, in partnership for promoting uh, successful inclusion mm -hmm. in, in a European perspective, is a KA201 project. It's a, it's a strategic partnership in, in school education. Uh, this, uh, this project, uh, the, pro the partners of this project are for six different countries. We are seven partners, six schools, three of them are regular schools and three of them are vocational schools, and one uh, organization which provides training. Uh, the countries where the, where are, where, where the, the organizations are or the schools are, are uh, Turkey, Greece, Italy, Slovenia, Portugal, and the Basque Country. Mm -hmm. The coordinator of the group is the Portuguese school, Agrupamento de Escolas de Aljustral. Okay. Uh, which are the main objectives of the project? This project arises after informal visits in other Erasmus Plus projects, where conversation related uh, with the success of these schools in combating exclusion and dropping out were addressed. Mm, from these conversations, we understood that we had a lot of to learn from each other. Uh, because the way that each country, each school, were developing the management against or oh, uh, boasting inclusion was different because we had different types of students with different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. The is in us in inclusion project takes the challenge of the global world of the training of young people and bringing the possibility of bringing the object of improving the concepts of what is a school for all, for each one and everyone, and what we, how can we improve the European institutions in order to have a true inclusive education. Mm -hmm. In that sense, that we are going to propose in or we are going to present are going to be good practices of inclusion at different schools with different types of students. In this way, we have schools like the School of Economics in Novo Mesto, in Slovenia, that are focused on the inclusion of students from minorities or refugees. A school, for example, like Balikeshir Abdan Menderes High School in Turkey, are devoted to the inclusion of female students that are in risk of exclusion and uh, also early living school. And, and for example, in the agrupement, agrupement of scholars of uh, Aljustrel also, they are focusing in the inclusion of students with special needs. Mm -hmm. And in Italy, in the Basque country, we are focused in the Federico II Instituto in Botolos Aldea, we are focused on students with fewer socioeconomic opportunities. Mm. And last but not least, in the United Special Vocational Gymnasium and Lyceum of Patras are focused on the inclusion of students with disabilities. Then all of us are working in, in this aim, that is the inclusion of all kind of students. Very interesting mm -hmm. uh, project, and um, we wish you good luck uh, with this great project. Uh, thank thank you. you so much, Juan Luis, for being here.